What we have today is a 2001 F250 7.3, very popular engine. And customer brought it to us uh, after his son used it for the weekend. And he said, I went on a trip and I used three gallons of oil over the course of a day and a half. And uh, that's pretty substantial oil leak. So uh, we went to work cleaning it up. It was a mess on the outside. And uh, flushed everything out, cleaned it, dried it, drove it. Can't find a leak anywhere. Well, that's not acceptable and, and uh, had to keep digging. So we called the customer. He says, look, this has been ongoing for probably a year. I've had this replaced, I've had that replaced, and, and I, I just don't know where this oil is going. Okay, so we had to back up. It's not an oil leak, but an oil consumption problem. Where, where is the oil going? Could be going in the turbo, uh, could be a wore out engine, neither of those. Got a brand new turbo on it, we verified it, not going out the exhaust, not leaking, engine runs good. So. We added some oil dye thinking, well, maybe only under pressure, towing. So we did that, oil dye in it. No oil leaks externally anywhere. Started thinking about it a little bit over the course of a day and um, got to thinking, what if it's bypassing through the injectors? Uh, it's possible on this type of injector. We, we can go into that a little bit. So we uh, inspected the fuel, and sure enough, it's full of fluorescent dye from the oil system. Okay, how did it get there? Probably have an O-ring that was cut when the previous injectors were installed, so we started pulling injectors. All the O-rings are intact. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, here's what we found. Let me show you a little bit. We have two injectors and and first you, you have to understand how these injectors work um, we use high pressure oil over high pre or low pressure fuel the oil builds up between 500 and 2500 psi depending on the load and it acts on a piston to multiply that fuel pressure and then when it needs the fuel the electrical system activates and it sprays the fuel out. So we have an oil passage, a fuel passage right next to each other separated by O-rings. Normally a great system don't have any problem. This injector is a remanufactured injector um, and what we found is when they rebuilt it looks like they used a bench vise, a pipe wrench, whatever to separate the two halves, we've got marring here, here, you can see all the way around. This injector isn't round anymore. It's actually flat spotted oval and the oil is coming between the two passages passing into the fuel system. Just a really good example of not good rebuilt injectors. We use Alliant Power brand new. We can shift gears a little bit, talk about the 6.0 injectors. They use the same technology, but they separated it. Oil on top, fuel on the bottom, same type of uh, system. Then we go to 6.4, 6.7, Cummins, uh, Duramax, use high pressure fuel. Totally different system. End result, bad rebuilds, new injectors. I sold this customer brand new injectors, uh, two year warranty, cheaper than he had the rebuilds put in. End of story, thanks.